season a little bit, man. 113 tackles, four and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, four interceptions, and 18 passes defense. Uh, what was clicking right for you and the entire Titans defense this year uh, that led you guys all the way to the AFC Championship? And that, and that you decided, like Scott said, to to rip our hearts out and, and uh, send Tom to Tampa. Like, what what was up with that? How did all that click this year? Oh man, it was um, it was a couple years coming. You know, I felt like I, my first year in Tennessee, I came down there and I didn't know what to expect. You know, you think New England's it. You know, and I and uh, I thought New England was the only place where I had dudes working hard. It was the only place where they had good guys. And I came to Tennessee. I came to that locker room, and there was great guys. And guys were working hard. We had Dick LeBeau, and uh, I learned a lot from him. And uh, he's a great coach. And then we got Dean Pease, and I was sad when Dick LeBeau left, retired. But then we had Dean Pease, and Dean Pease really opened my game where he had me playing a whole lot of roles, playing nickel, playing safety, playing corner, blitzing. He really made me a better blitzer moving me on to the most dangerous matchup or the third down matchup and kind of game planning a lot like the New England defenses. So he really opened me up. And I think we really, you know, learning his defense the first eight games of year two for me. And then we really started to go on a roll there at the end and I broke my leg. And that was like, you know, the first injury where I ever really missed a game in my career. Going back to high school, I was healthy for like 10, 12 straight seasons. You know, I didn't have, didn't have to deal with anything like that. And I got my Mamba mentality. I started waking up early, you know me, Dev. And I started putting the work in, uh, crazy hours early, up, up early, going to bed late, and just putting the work in, putting the work in. And coming back, I knew I was going to have a great year. And uh, most importantly, I knew our team was going to have a good year. And it didn't start off as so, you know, we two and four. And we were at the crossroads, but the locker room came together. And I think Marcus, even the, the, the change there, I think Marcus accepted it so well. And was like, all right, I'll do what's best for the team. He started killing us every single week. Like, he started ripping us in practice. I mean, Marcus Mariota was the practice quarterback, and he was destroying us. And it, it made us better. It made us better, and, and Ryan Tannehill made us better, and Derek started going. And defensively, we just uh, – we understood the defense. And uh, I knew if I was healthy and the work I put in and understanding that defense and having Malcolm and Adore and KB, I mean, we were pretty loaded in the back end. It allowed me to really free up and play free. And I didn't have to worry about, you know, like in New England, I had Devin behind me a lot of years and I can go be aggressive because I knew I had Kevin Byard behind me. So they, those guys, the talent on the team freed me up and I was able to play play free. And, uh, you know, the stats are the stats. I think that's all effort and having good players around you. And then going back to New England, um, I think our team was ready for that game. I think we, we believed we could win um, and we were excited to be there. And we just, you know, we weren't afraid. We went in there and let it rip. And I had to catch the last one because I dropped the first one, and I knew it was over for me. My Twitter was my Twitter was buzzing when I dropped that first one, boy. So I was I was a dead man walking. I had to do something, and I just said, "Hey, man, you got to make it up." And uh, you know, I prided myself on my hands too. So I knew, you know, you know how I felt. We know having the best hands. I dropped the easiest pick of my life, but I was able to make it up, and it all worked out in the end. So it was it was a good year for sure.